Hello friends, this video on integers part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So based on whatever we have learned so far on multiplication of integers, let us quickly look at some of the questions. Question number one, what will be the sign of the product if we multiply together eight negative integers and three positive integers? Okay, so how many number of negative integers do we have? So number of negative integers, number of negative integers is 8 and 8 is even number or odd number, 8 is even number, even number any number that is divisible by 2. So when you divide that number by 2, the remainder is 0. So 8 is an even number, therefore the result would be, the sign of the product would be positive, yes. And in the first case, you also have three positive integers. Now, number of positive integers is three, right? So for positive integers, anyways, the product will be positive. Therefore, overall, the sign of the product will be positive. Let's look at the next one. You have number of negative integers, a five. So you have number of negative integers, 5. 5 is even or odd? 5 is odd. Therefore, the product of 5 negative integers would be... So therefore, the product of 5 negative integers would be negative. Now, what about 4 positive integers? So the number of positive integers is 4. And anyways, doesn't matter whether the number of positive integers is 3 or 4, the product is always positive. So now 1... So the product, so half part of the product would be negative and the remaining part of the product would be positive. So overall, the product would be negative. Question number two, find the product minus nine multiplied by minus five multiplied by minus six multiplied by minus three. So here, how many negative integers do you have? So you have four negative integers. Therefore, the sign of the final product would be positive. Right? So all we need to do is just need to multiply them. So 9 into 5 is 45 and 6 into 3 is 18. So this is equal to 810. Question number 3. Find the product 12 multiplied by minus 50 multiplied by minus 6. So in this case, how many negative integers do you have? You have two negative integers. Therefore, the product again would be positive in this case. So 12 multiplied by 50 into 6 is 300 and this is equal to 3600. So this is the product. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.